Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com. I'm going to try and do a really quick uh, video on replacing uh, a screen on a Lenovo, one of these little little touch tablets, basically small computer. Um, this is the Lenovo S10 uh, three T. Oh yeah, check out for some of these and order some uh, order some screens and get them fixed. And I'm going to show you this one real quick. Uh, when you're ordering screens, I've been buying from uh, LaptopScreen.com. Uh, this particular one, this Lenovo, they didn't have the touch version. They had the regular screen, the non-touch screen, for like $33. But this is a touch compatible little laptop. And, and I do use it as a tablet like that once in a while. So I wanted the touch version. It wasn't in stock, and so at laptop LaptopScreen.com, I signed up for their notification email. As soon as it's in stock, a week or so goes by. In my case, it was like a month. Uh, then I got an email saying, hey, they're in stock and I can order them. And I ordered it and it came real quick. Um, when you order it, uh, the information you want, of course, is you look on the back and you'll find somewhere a sticker. Like in that case, there's a sticker. And uh, it, uh, it tells you the model and the make um, and you want all that detail. In this case, there's actually a model number called 0651. Um, and once you get to the web page, you type all that in and it'll still give you several choices. Um, so then there'll be notes and stuff there to tell you what to look for, um, for the differences between even that layer and even that layer. But once you're that far making model, you pretty much uh, have a screen that's going to work. Um, and I've already, of course, taken mine apart, which you've seen this already. This is all you really have to take off with most laptops is you just got to get that front, uh, essentially that's a cowling or bezel if you want to call it, has to come off. I'm going to show putting it all together. Um, it's basically just the reverse for taking it apart, of course, and that's going to be the end of the video. When the screen comes, it comes packed in a big, fairly big box with bubble wrap, and inside the bubble wrap is another envelope. This envelope is also a bubble envelope, and inside of that uh, is a little screen. Um, no instructions or anything like that. That's uh, what this video is for. You find the instructions like this on, on YouTube. And uh, hopefully for your particular laptop and you'll see uh, how to do it. So let's get to uh, putting this on and that will be uh, the end of the video. So my screen's already out and um, there was little uh, rubber buttons on all corners that I popped off. And there was a couple little rubber buttons here that I had to pop off. And then there was just little tiny screws. Uh, which you take off, you got to get yourself a little jeweler's screwdriver and you just unscrew all those and then this comes off and then the screen was in here and you'll just see there's a cable at the bottom for the video yeah so that unplugged from the bottom this little cable just just pull on that little little sticky thing and it unpops from the screen there's four there's four screws holding the screen in you'll see me put those on here in a minute and then over here, there was a little tiny, essentially a lever. You popped up on this little lever, and that released a, uh, a uh, ribbon, if you will. And this is for the touch screen on mine. Normally, you would only have this connector. Okay, this, this is what came out of the bag. And there was, uh, uh, looks like a little piece of protection here. And then a couple of, this is just a, like a, a protection for shipping so this can come off as well you don't you can leave it on while you're getting it in uh, but you want to take it off you want to prep for taking it off I should say because you don't want to fight to get this off once you're inside uh, I'm going to take mine off now and just be careful with the screen now there's a little edge connector for the video and there's my touch that ribbon um, flexible circuit, printed circuit board, printed circuit uh, for my uh, touch, touch sensitive screen. Okay, so this is just going to be reverse order of taking it off. So uh, because this is one of these spin, spin screens, I'm going to spin it and work on it like this. That, it, you normally can't do that with a laptop, but this, this one you can. This is sort of the tablet thing. And I put the screws back in so that I wouldn't lose them while I was ordering my screen. And then the little rubber, the little bung hole covers uh, for the screws I put in a plastic Ziploc bag. 
So I got to take out the screws and then lay in just the screen and there's going to be four four uh, screw uh, tabs on the, on the corners to hold it in. First thing I'm going to do, I got my screws out, I want to get my connectors on. I might fast forward some of this to save you the time. I'm going to put a little tape right here. Now I want to get this uh, touch screen plugged in right there. There's a little flip. I flip it up. Kind of hard to see underneath that sticker. But there's, but this, this flips up and then this goes in and then it snaps back down. Let me zoom in on that while I do it. Once I have it all the way into the bottom of the connector like that, then I push, I push this lever down and it'll pinch it down. And that will hold, that lever now pinches down and provides a friction on this flexible printed circuit board. Now it's just a matter of lining up all four of these tabs in their little plastic notches. So each of these little plastic um, plastic notches are in and then the second hole is for a screw all four corners so I'm holding a holding a screw with the tweezers and then I can kind of easily get them started okay now I gotta put on this uh, this essentially bezel covering and it uh, the only thing on is on off switch and then you have access to another little switch on the side if there's any wires or anything going around for the display, make sure they're not going to get pinched in anything. So you want to make sure that they're, all the speaker wires and, and any other screen wires are down away from hinge points where they're supposed to be so that they don't get pinched when you open and close your screen. This is the hinge mechanism down here. I can lay this on and it, when you take it off, you got to take all those screws out. This was one, there's four, there was eight screws. There was two here, two here, and four in the corners. And they were covered by little rubber, little rubber plugs. Um, once you get all the screws out, then you got to go around with like a screwdriver or a fine knife, and you got to pop the plastic loose. It just sort of, it's just sort of held on by these little tiny side crimps, and they come off pretty easy as you start prying around the edge. So it's just a little flimsy piece of covering, and they'll snap back down now here once I get everything lined up. If you have like a screen lockout right here, like I do. Make sure that that uh, uh, connects properly with the switch inside before you go screwing it all together. Now for the little rubber covers if you care for it to be more cosmetic. By keeping them in a plastic bag they stay sticky and clean. This isn't too hard, you just put one of the little rubber stops in each corner. Okay, let's power up and see what we got. Okay, there we go. Got the laptop fixed. Screen's all good. And I, I've had this for quite a while, and I always use it in the lab because it's just the right size for working on on my projects. And uh, and it has USB and, uh, and 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 all the features you need in a small laptop. Really excellent for email and travel. Um, just be careful with these with these uh, screens where you have to spin them to make them into a tablet. Don't grab it like this, you know, don't grab it with your thumb and push because you'll snap it right where your thumb pressure is. You want to grab it down by the base on both sides, you know, put it nice and vertical, grab it on the base, and then spin it from the base like that, pushing on these two lower corners, staying away from torquing it up near the top around here where you can crack that screen. And that's it. That's a screen replacement from, uh, and I do recommend them. Um, uh, laptopscreen.com. I'm, I'm having real good luck ordering screens from them. Uh, so thanks for joining.